Yo, Rock, you got to remember, bro, you're not alone out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, like, your people is on the other side of the phone when you start feeling some kind of way. Like, next time I pull you to the side to talk to you, bro, you... Dude, let me tell you something. As a black man... It's tough. As a black man... Yeah, but I'm one of those, responsible, too. With the responsible... With the responsible... Responsibility of children, the responsibility of keeping it together. Success in the black community is not through the whole family. It sometimes falls on one well, individual. Person. And then and then every and then and then not knowing. I remember when I first made a million dollars, right? Big shout to Vernon Brown, because this I is the conversation. Because that's the conversation I that knew came. Was gonna bring this I up. went to <laughs> Vernon Brown and Kevin, Kevin, Kevin in the yeah. Vernon Brown, they sat me down. They said, All right, you did the publishing deal for six hundred thousand. You just did made you did four hundred thousand dollars worth of work. You're actually a millionaire. I said, I'm a millionaire? He said, Yeah, you're a millionaire. I shook his hand. I went in the elevator, went down the elevator. I walked out. I didn't look like Will Smith at the end of the Pursuit of Happiness. I didn't do that. <laughs> but I definitely walked mad slow. What? I walked mad slow to the parking lot. What? And I gave the nigga my card. I gave the nigga my, my ticket. 60 Broad Street. And I watched my truck come out. And I got in my truck. And I took the 59th Street Bridge home. Mm. Everything was traffic. Took the long but it way, wasn't yeah. traffic that day. <laughs> I was just like this. Um, and I went home, and I fell asleep. I laid in the bed, because when I woke up the next day, I was a millionaire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I was scared to death. You know why? Because now I gotta tell my moms I'm a millionaire, my family I'm a millionaire, my friends find out I'm a millionaire. I wasn't thinking about getting robbed or nothing, nothing like that. Yeah, no, it's not nothing yet, like that. But it's the but the responsibility of, it. of who needs it, what I'm supposed to do with it. What can I do with it? What should I do with it? Why don't you just keep it to yourself? You're not nah, gonna keep that from I'm smoking small. weed, nigga. I'm smoking weed. <laughs> I'm buying bigger bags. <laughs> I'm driving my truck. I'm not dressed. Right. I got on a pair of Jordans. They knew something was different. I was just too lazy that day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I kept working. We playing beats. Because me, we, we all play beats for the block. It just yeah. so happens the beats got sold that night. Well, but we we, we hmm. doing beats. We doing beats. Me, Prince, Troy, Sage, Kid Nice, Eddie, Rashid. We all doing beats. Right. We playing the beats in the car. We driving around Queens and we smoking the best of weed. We it's like whatever. Uh, Jeff, Steve, One Thirteenth, Shy, all of them. Everybody. We just we just in the thick of it. Right. But the day was different, and the responsibility came because. We don't get the memo from the uncles and, and the other financial the people, leaders. I'm the first. Right. Mm. What do I do? I remember when I bought my crib in Long Island. Mm -hmm. I used to watch the sprinklers come on, and I used to sit in the back. And, and I, I said this in an interview one time. I looked in the back. I saw two cars in the yard. I saw my Hayabusa. I saw this big house. And I, I smoked weed, and I said, what the fuck I'm going to do now? You have to know. What you're gonna do? What next. you're gonna do? Because it's I'm always not, been a goal. It's been a goal, but and you never you know what happens. You, you know when what's you get funny? There. My man Five Mics mm -hmm. came on the show. He talked about this. He talked about getting a bag uh -huh. and just being stuck. Yeah, he, being sick, like, right? He, yeah. yeah, like he got he felt sick. sick every time. He got sick because he was like, "Yo, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do, what to do next." Dude, you know what I got? You know what I got? My only high was the sprinklers. Sprinkler? I used to love to come. I, I, one thing I did that I was that I knew to do. I knew to put a studio upstairs and built in bedroom number five. I knew how to keep the pool warm, and I knew how to do the sprinklers Sprinkler. because that's all I knew. Yeah. So I would come outside and look at the sprinklers at five o'clock, mm. and say to myself, "I know this part because I sat in Gav and Cheryl's backyard, big shout salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. So I used to always sit in her backyard and watch the sprinklers." And I would sit in her backyard to watch the sprinklers. And they would let me sit back there and watch the sprinklers. And then I bought my house. I think I bought my house because Cheryl and Guy bought their house. That's I really did. Mm -hmm. And I bought that house and I watched the sprinklers. Wow. When the sprinklers would go down, I would go in this big ass crib, go in my bedroom because that came from the apartment in Promenade, and I would go to sleep. And I would wake up and say, okay, what do I do now? The whole because because 
you have to talk to pe people. Have to come to your crib and know how to vibe. But un unfortunately, there's when you have when you have riches like that, you're telling people about what you don't, what you've done. They can't talk to you the same no way. way. You don't know that you're talking too much. You don't know that you're saying too much. Unfor it's not. It's not bad. Yeah. But you just communicating with the wrong thing, so you, you're not feeding, nothing's feeding you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas know how to smoke. Oh, yeah, when it comes to smoking weed, oh, niggas don't know how to come to your crib and get in the backyard and smoke weed. Mm -hmm. But who's talking about real estate? Mm. Who's talking about the two-family crib? Who's talking about putting money aside for this? Who's talking about your less, your investment? And we ain't getting around the corner and getting, smoking weed and talking about investments. We, we just talk, we just smoking weed. When them niggas finish smoking weed, unless you hungry, you about to eat. I, I, I never, nigga, if I got it, we all gonna eat. Yeah. But uh, what are we talking about around the table? How good the food is? So when did you learn? When, when I, ha I really had two questions, but yeah. my, my main one is, when did you decide that it was okay for you to deal with this fear? When did you decide that it was okay to sit down and talk to somebody, or, or have you even made that decision? When I went did you down, start dealing with it? I went down, right? I went down to a point where I was in that big-ass crib, and I had nothing. My health had went, everything. Everything was gone because I got so stressed out about the responsibility. It started weighing on my body. Mm -hmm. It started fucking me up. Then my brother died. My brother Bo. Yeah. He died in 04. When he died, I died. Really. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because, you know, this is, I did it all for him. I did everything for him. You know what I'm saying? And he won't catch the deuce. Say he'll catch the celebration because I already did enough crying for him. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, but, um, I remember that. When he, when he died, like everything, everything went blank. And, and I sat in the crib and I worked on music. I, I never stopped working on music, but I didn't have no direction. I had no direction, right? So I went down and I remember telling my moms, I said, Your mom, my mother's a preacher. Um, Eva Givens, big shout out to Eva Givens, William Givens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I said, Ma, something wrong. I said, I got all of this, but I don't know what's going on. And she said, why don't you pray? I said, I'm sick of praying. I said, because mm. I think I'm praying to God for something that I don't deserve. I'm supposed to know what this is. What is this? What is this? It's something I'm doing wrong. You know what I'm saying? So then... Um, my health had went to the point where one day I almost died. He was sweating on the inside yeah, of his body. I was sweating on the inside of my body. I had hydrogenitis and, yeah. and I was going through I was going through inflammations in my he body. Was sick as fuck. Yeah, so the day of the video dollar bill that I did for Envy and Fabulous, they had to take infections off my off my underarms because they were getting infected because they weren't sweating right. Mm -hmm. So I had to get bandages on, the, on my arms. Mm -hmm. And um, one day, Fran used to, my wife, Fran, used to, used to pat me up. She used to pat me up. And she was taking the bandage off one day and it was close to her artery. It started bleeding. I didn't notice. So I'm about to show up to the dollar bill video, so she wrapped me up again. I had on a black t-shirt. She wrapped me up again. And um, it bled through the it bled through the bandage again. You know what I'm saying? It bled through the bandage again. And um, and uh, I said, Yo, friend, something wrong. Something wrong. Now, mind you, I lived in Hall Park. I lived uh f like 50 minutes from the actual hospital that mm -hmm. I went to when they patted me up. So um, she called the doctor. The doctor said, well, what's happening? She said, I keep wrapping them up, but the blood keeps coming through the pad. He said, okay, well, come to my office and let's check it out. So they, she wrapped me up again. Kenyatta puts me in the car. Fran's in front of me. And um, she came out with her sister, Sonia. So now Sonia in the car, Kim in the car. I mean, Sonia in the car, Fran in the car, me and Kenyatta behind it. I'm in the car. Next thing you know, the blood is coming through the, the black shirt and it's making red again. I say, yo, something wrong, do something wrong. So now we're in traffic coming from, uh, from exit 63 mm -hmm. and we're going to like exit 20 mm -hmm. traffic. So, he was so out there. we in the left, we, we zooming, we zooming. Cops pull us over and say, yo, what's wrong? He said, yo, look, he's bleeding. He's bleeding. We're trying to get him to a hospital. He said, all right, do you want to escort? He said, no, we just got to let the cops know that, uh, 
We coming. We coming. Yo, so we doing it. I'm sitting in the car. Now the blood is all over here. Red. It's red right here on a black shirt. Red on a black shirt. Mm -hmm. So Kenyatta's like, yo, just chill. Don't move. Just move. So when we finally got to the, when, um, when we finally got to his office, which was like 50 minutes later or something, I go to the door. His door is closed because he was doing some surgery up at North Shore, which is like probably like a mile over. Mm -hmm. Yo, when I walked back to the car, I couldn't walk. Because I was bleeding, I, I bled too much. So I crawled back to the car, and I sat in the car like this. And Kenyatta said, I said, yo, Kenyatta, take me over to Community Drive over to Manhasset. And it was traffic. It was 5 o'clock with that traffic. And um, Kenyatta said, yo, chill, man. I said, yo, nigga, I peed on myself. I said, nigga, I'm dying. I know I'm dying. Next thing you know, I was looking in one spot, and the corner of my eyes was getting black like this. And I got scared, and he said, yo, and Kenyatta was like, yo, Rock, don't go, man. Don't, please don't go. There was a Dr. Pepper in my truck. Nobody knows how this Dr. Pepper got here. I asked Kenyatta to this day, like, Kenyatta, did what you drink? He said, nigga, I don't, I don't like Dr. Pepper. Nobody said Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper was in my joint. I drank it. Whatever it did, it did something. I went to the uh, sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Spinach, right? I'm back. So I went to, I went to, I got to the, I got to the hospital, and the man came. The security guard came to the car. When the security guard came to the car. The blood was coming out of the my seat. It was, it was like coming down like a water, like waterfall, like that. Shit. And he put me in a chair, and he put me inside. And this lady was helping somebody else, and she saw me like this, and she said, "Hold on one minute." And she said, "Sir, you all right?" And I said, "Yo." Yo, somebody gotta help me. And I went out. When I woke up, Fran was over me. I had tears in my eyes. And there was blood on certain parts of the wall and stuff. And uh, I asked her, so what happened? They said, yo, you went out. You went out. You, you was out. You was gone. You know what I'm saying? But they kept padding up the area where the artery was. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, so the whole thing about it was in, in the... In the uh, in the hospital, they say you're rocked down in the in the he's in dying. He's in the hospital dying. They know if I got shot, they know whatever happened. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was supposed to be at the dollar bill video, so I'm sorry for not showing up, Envy, to the dollar <laughs> bill video. But I was dying. Right. But um, but uh like situations like that was happening because I didn't have no I had no ceiling. Once I did that goal, there was nothing else. There was nothing else for me to to do. And I didn't have no idea of what he it was. was. Suffering but from success. Question. Suffering from success. Why didn't you set another one? After I, I, cause I always was comfortable with. I had did so many bucket list checkoffs with Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, Janet, Rock Wilder, all these different type of things. In my mind, I knocked the boys you down. You were supposed to die. You know what I'm saying? I'm You're good. You're supposed to go after that? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Fob said the same thing. He was like, yo, this is incredible. They can get all this money. Nah, something's going to happen. I'm going to die. <laughs> so, <laughs> yo, gonna, and I like, was making my crazy. peace. I was making, yo, I was just sitting there like, yo, this is how this shit go. Like, but then when I came back, I read a book called The Seed of the Soul okay. by Gary Zukov. Big shout to Wendy Zizo. She gave me that book. I read that book with the seed of the soul, and, and that's the time when I was married. I had my children, you know what I'm saying? I had grandchildren, and I, I, I read about life from a different angle mm. of a spiritual being having a physical experience. Mm. So the physical situation has this five sensory thing that happens, but then the spiritual being has a multi sensory thing. Right. So then I understood why the the song was the Rock Wilder. You know what I'm saying? I understood the, I understood Jesus. I understood everything. It made me just open up my mind and then it didn't make me feel like as if I needed to be validated by anybody again. It just made me feel great as a man. But it was great to know that Shake, Play, Organize, Damien, Tribe Called Quest, Red Man, Flatliners, Big Pun, um, Red Man Again, Tour, DJ Twins, um, Jay-Z, Rockefeller, Christina Aguilera, Christina Aguilera DJ Clue, Bust. Janet, Big Draws, Esso, Yummy, Mecca, You, because I, I had moments with all of y'all, yeah. you know what I'm saying? 
it's like it's like it's like it started making sense once I read the book. I said, oh, it's a journey. Yeah. It's a journey. So the money, all right. You know what I'm saying? The money you but but look, but look, you made you made you, you made millions. Mm -hmm. Can you make it again? Yeah, but now I'm not looking at the point of making it again. It's the impact. It's the, it's the it's the it's the fact of I'm in a zone. I'm in a zone. So, you know, thanks, Pharrell. You know, thanks, Pharrell. Thanks, Swiss. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Missy. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. You know, thank everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so it's, it's, it was a it was a journey. So I had to learn to live with live with the fact of my identity. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Of who I, I never knew who I was in, in mm. it. Because I was so busy trying to seek validation and have the responsibility of thinking I knew what to do. Jane Blaze, come on. Snoop. My A, my A, my Snoop A heart, bro. my A heart. Jane Blaze with me through the whole ride. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we did a journey. You know what I'm saying? My kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like everybody's a journey. My mother, my father, sisters and brothers. I'm thinking, you know, everything means something when I read that book. Everything meant something. So, in, so, in the, so what's the, what was the key that you was missing? Validation for myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I didn't have to worry about how I looked in a crib and how everybody would, 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 would perceive it. Right. It was my crib. It was my money. It was my, my, my time, my life, my, my, my heart, my tears, my heart. My, yeah. It was my shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and God blessed me with it. God blessed me with it. Not here, but I activated God within me to, to make it happen. It was an activation. Right. So when it was all God, it didn't, the money didn't, it wasn't important to me. Like, all the other things wasn't important. It just was God after that. And the responsibility that I had to myself as being God. Mm. Saying, okay, all right, now, now, look at, look. Rock Wilder, producer, family. Father. Father. Son. Children and everything. And to me, dog, I'm, 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 a, I'm a whole man walking. I'm a whole man. You so know can what we saying? celebrate you now? Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we celebrate? Can celebrate? Can celebrate? Can celebrate? Can celebrate? Can celebrate? Can celebrate? This right here. This right here. right here. This, is the, right this gets the interview the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> I wasn't planning on this wasn't supposed to be the interview. Look, look, look. I this hot fuck. Trap, trapper turn smack rapper. Smack. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got